All right, have it, have not fans. This was actually brought up to me um, a few times over the past couple of weeks. Not only the same question about when is the show returning? I just want to know return date. Where are we getting the trailer? I have no idea on any of that information aside from the haves and the have nots is allegedly returning January 2020. I say allegedly because I'm confident that it will be returning January 2020. But Tyler Perry shows for whatever reason. I And look, I, I'm not going to pass judgment because I don't know who's making that call. If it's Tyler Perry himself or the companies he's working with. Like, for example, if Loving You is wrong, oh, it's going to be coming back. I, I forgot the date they originally said. What was it like mid-January or something like that? And then it got pushed all the way back to like, what, mid-March? And then when it came, and for a two-night event, though, and then when it came to the Oval and Sisters on BET, October the 9th, oh, yeah, we're going to push it two weeks back to the 23rd. So I ain't, I'm not going to lie, guys. I am a, a bit concerned because um, some of the cast members themselves have, and I've already done videos on it. Go back and look for those. Uh, they have stated January 2020. We do know the show is coming back in 2020. That was stated directly after the... Uh, um, episode show not tell the season finale for season six but i am a bit nervous that like they'll give an announcement date like oh and guys i'm just theorizing here oh yeah january 7th the haves and the have nots returns to own for the deadliest season season seven but then like what a couple of weeks before it's supposed to come on the haves and the have nots have been pushed to january 21st to 2020 yeah, I will be pissed off. But the point of this video is really to talk about. I doubt this is going to happen. I haven't heard anything confirming this. Not even rumors, but people have been asking, Jeremy, will we get um, a 90 minute season premiere? First of all, I think we should have gotten a 90 minute season finale last season because of the fact that the episode felt a bit imbalanced where the first two, the last scene and the first scene were heavily energized got our blood pumping, but the remainder of the episode wasn't bad, but I don't feel the flow actually felt right. Like we start off the episode with a, a bunch of people firing guns at David's house. Then we just have a bunch of talking scenes. And then I think some people were complaining about Mitch and uh, Vinny and Sandy, that scene being too long. I didn't mind it just because of the fact that we hadn't seen Vinny in so long. We finally got Benny, um, you know, off the hook when it came to the money. And then we get to the end of the episode, which was relative, very well paced when it came to Wyatt going around shooting his parents and then getting shot by the cops. But I felt like the time in the time the episode had should have been spent better than it was. So with uh, season premiere being extended, here's what I would like. I would, I think instead of an extended episode, what they could do, and I'd really appreciate it if they did, give us a two-night event for the haves and the have-nots, like a two-night season premiere event. Um, a Tuesday and Wednesday, or give us two, no, two episodes at once. I, I, I don't even think I can handle that. So I think that um, it would be a nice gesture as a, Hey, we had you waiting six months. Here's two episodes back to back because episode one, that cliffhanger is going to be so good. We don't want you to have to wait until the next week for episode two. That's exactly what they did with If Loving You Is Wrong. I'm not going to lie. Was I pissed when they moved it back? Oh, yeah. You remember if you go back to my If Loving You Is Wrong playlist, I chewed on out. Here's why. I think the main reason it wasn't just because they pushed back the season premiere date because we had been waiting so long. But also I remember when they put out a quote unquote new promotional trailer for if loving you is wrong's premiere date. They didn't even bother to update anything in the trailer. All they did at the very end was change the premiere date. And that's what pissed me off because I felt it was disrespectful to the fans causing even more confusion amongst fans as to when the show was actually coming back and then pushing the show back to the point where when it finally did arrive on own it had been gone for over a year but when that first episode aired and then eddie came in saying kelly's dead yeah we couldn't wait until next week so i will admit the first two episodes were pretty dang good but with the haves and the have nots i really want to throw my hat into the ring and say hey man we need to 
like make some noise amongst Twitter, social media, Tyler Perry own. Let's see if we can push for a two night season premiere event. And I usually don't do this. Like I'm not the person who really wants to rally the troops and like demand something. But I feel like with the show being gone for six months and the fact that the show will be returning in January again, allegedly, I don't think we should have to wait a week. And again, I don't want to sound greedy. I don't want to sound ungrateful for the show being confirmed to be coming back, not to mention getting a season eight and nine. But I think it would be a great gesture to get fans pumped up because once again, we don't know um, how good or how well received the Oval and Sisters will be on BET. I just think that the ratings might be relatively high due to the fact that BET is a network that a lot of people have compared to the own network. So for all we know, the Oval and Sisters might be so good. It will have people talking a lot. So by the time the haves and the have nots come back, that people will be like, wait, what? Have and have nots who? Okay, I doubt people will actually forget about the show, but I think that, ironically enough, Tyler Perry has two new shows on OWN. Not to mention, we don't know when he's going to release his BET Plus series, Bruh, and um, Ruthless as well. So, two for two, by the time the haves and the have nots comes back, why not give us a two-night season seven premiere event for the deadliest season? I think, ironically enough, if you want to raise our blood pressures, go ahead and give us two episodes in the same week. So, I mean, I, I don't even know how to go about doing this. If you want to tweet Tyler Perry or tweet own or message them on is you know what the fact that i get blown up all the time with messages about when the show's coming back i want to send some of that traffic their way so make sure you get this video out there make sure you use a hashtag tyler perry hashtag h-a-h-n we need to start a movement give us a two night season seven premiere event trust and believe i am here for that and um, what better way to uh kind of get our blood pumping after chowing down on holiday food uh, November and December than to give us a two night season premiere event in the haves and the have nots or hey Tyler Perry if anybody from own is listening invite a brother down or give me an advanced screening of the first episode I'd really enjoy that so once again guys thanks so much for tuning in and I will talk to you all soon Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you in the next video.